All right, some of y'all have been paying attention know that I started working on uh, fixing some rusty spots on that Ford a while back, and I'm trying something a little different. Some people have been a little bit critical about it, but you know what? They can just get over themselves. Um, but I had a rusty spot on the fender, and I was doing some reading about people that use Pour 15 and some of this Pour 15 epoxy putty. Um, and is it a, like a... I think it was a Chevy magazine. They was talking about how they use this stuff around the windows. And they was also talking about how they use some of that Pour 15 with some uh, fiberglass resin to patch inside the trunk and stuff like that. And uh, my theory was, or at least what I was testing, was to paint a, a rusty hole in a fin in the back of the Ford with Pour 15. And then after it paint, after it dried, I used some of this epoxy putty to kind of fill over the hole. Well, first I painted it, and then I put some uh, uh, fiberglass resin over it, and I let that dry. And then I put some of this stuff on top of it. And my thinking was now that I've sort of got the co hole covered over, I go up inside the fender. That's why I took the tail light out and put a little bit more of this stuff up where that hole was, so that when I sand it, if I sand off the top layer, I'll have something up underneath there to get some filler into, so that I can sand it down even with the line of the body and have a little something left. So I'm mixing me up some of this stuff. Basically you just oops, you just uh, take two parts. It's kind of like uh, JB Weld or something like that. You just take two parts and you rub it, you mix it together till you get it mixed up good and it's all the same color. I got a little thing on my refrigerator door in here too where it was missing a peg that holds up a uh, holds up a shelf. There's a shelf right there. And uh, it's got a little peg like this on one side and the other side's missing one. I tried pulling one out and they won't they don't really come out much so I thought I'd take me a little bit of this stuff. Let's see if y'all can see what I'm doing. I thought I might take a little bit of this stuff and just take the pinch off a piece like this and quite literally stick it right on the end of that old peg right there and just see that dries if that kind of works. I tried pegging, tried prizing this one out. I was going to take this one out and put it down here, but man, the, this one actually broke when I tried to prize it out. What I mean, the, around the base of it there, it broke. So I decided, okay, I'm not going to do no more of that. I'm just going to let this sit right there, and then later I'll put the shelf back in there. Let's we'll see if that is, makes a pretty good holder for it. So that said, I'm going to take the rest of this stuff out into the garage there. I'm going to reach up inside where that fin is uh, and I'm just going to take a big bunch of this and kind of put it all, press it all up into place inside there. I don't think y'all be able to see up inside the fin, but basically what I'm doing is going up inside of here, reaching my hand up through the hole like this so that I can touch that in there. I'll let y'all sit over here and you can watch. 